کرونا وائرس الرٹ High alert in the United Kingdom after the discovery of a new coronavirus variant. Britain's health secretary admitted that the pandemic is out of control in the UK. Matt Hancock said that the situation is now incredibly difficult. The UK government has confirmed that the new strain of coronavirus spreads faster. The new strain of the virus is more infectious than the other older variants. However, UK government said that the new strain doesn't seem to cause a more severe illness. The virus mutation's impact on the recently developed vaccines is not confirmed yet. The UK government said that it is assuming that the vaccine will be effective against the new strain too. Meanwhile, a lockdown was imposed in London. South East England and we I'm going to take you through the science and talk about what we know and importantly what we don't know about this new strain of the virus. I'm going to answer the following questions. What is the mutation? Where did the mutation come from? And has this mutation really caused an increase in infections? So let's start with the first question. What is the mutation we're talking about? Remember first that the coronavirus is a single-stranded RNA virus just like Zika, dengue, or influenza. The RNA contains the genetic code used to produce the coronavirus. In the case of SARS-CoV-2, the genome comprises a chain of 29,881 nucleotides. This sequence of nucleotides is the blueprint for making amino acids that are used to build the actual virus particle. RNA viruses mutate a lot. That's their trademark. Scientists have been sequencing the genes of the coronavirus throughout 2020. looking for changes in the genetic code and creating a type of family tree. The mutation in England has been called the B117 lineage. This B117 lineage has three important mutations, all on the spike protein, which are the spikes on the outside of the virus shell. The spikes are also what are used to enter to human cells via the ACE2 receptor. Probably the most interesting mutation in the B117 lineage is called N501Y. The name N501Y means that the mutation has caused the amino acid at site 501 to become tyrosine symbol Y whereas earlier versions of the virus had created the amino acid asparagine or symbol N because this amino acid is part of what is called the receptor binding domain or RBD the N501Y mutation could affect how readily the virus gets into human cells more on that later so where did this mutation come from viruses mutate we know that But what's interesting about this lineage is that there are 14 changes to amino acids in this lineage that seem to have happened before it was detected. That's a huge jump, whereas normally changes are detected one at a time. Instead, it seems that nearly all of the 14 changes occurred within a single human before being transmitted on. This has led to a hypothesis that an immunodeficient patient who was chronically infected for several months created a breeding ground for mutations, harboring a diverse community of virus forms. Then perhaps convalescent plasma which is full of antibodies was administered for therapy which then put selective pressure on the many new strains of virus in this immunodeficient individual so you have a bunch of different versions of the virus and then you pick out the very best one that's a hypothesis put forth by 10 researchers in the UK regardless of the process it seems pretty clear that this lineage originated in England and that brings us to the third and final question does this matter are these mutations really causing the virus to spread faster Let's start with the claims. Boris Johnson said that the virus is 70% more transmissible, which is why they reported in the media. The truth is, this is where our knowledge about what's going on reaches its limits. Scientists can observe the mutations and how common they are. Researchers can use models to estimate the effect these changes have on how the virus functions. In fact, computer models have shown that this N501Y mutation could make the coronavirus really good at docking with ACE2 receptors. But ultimately, the effect in the real world is subject to many more confounding factors. It's complex. Even the observation that the virus seems to be more prevalent in the fast-moving infections is only a correlation. To date, the most famous mutation has been the D614G mutation, which was also on the spike protein. It has been blamed for the outbreaks in the US and Europe. To be continued. Give support to me by subscribe my YouTube channel. Do check out my video and subscribe to my channel. I would like to hear your feedback.